Hey guys, so in today's video I thought I would film a haul with two very dominant guinea pigs. You two being very dominant today. The reason why they're, these two look really black and my camera is not filming. My phone is not focusing. So today I'm filming a haul, but I'm filming it with my phone today because I cannot find my camera. And I've just been to the haul suppliers and my phone is horrific. Shh! Wilbur! He's like this whenever there's like new things in the environment because he's the most dominant pig I've got. So yeah. He's just kind of telling us he's dominant. Well, that's mean. So, yeah. So, today I went to my local horse supplier. And I got some bedding. Just there. I got some shoes. I got some... I got a toy for them. So, not for these specifically. Like, the bedding's for these guys and the bunnies. Give you a very humanised animal. here, don't you, baby? You smell. So yeah, they are actually do a bum bath at some point because I do tend to bath their bums when they do get quite hyped up like this because it tends to be the fact their scent glands they're doing. So yeah. So the first thing I picked up was this and this is the Anchor Wooden No Toy and it's just some wood shoes because Bonnie, I did buy some specifically for Bonnie because I tend to just like throw in a pack, I'll buy a pack for one specific animal. <laughs> You don't need them, you have hay. So yeah, so these are for Bonnie. And they were £1.27, which is a fair price of all wood shoes. I think they're flavoured. Oh god, these guinea pigs stink. So what it says on the back. I think it is flavoured, you know. Then, I, I'm just going to kind of go to the bedding first of all. Then here I have a bag of Orbeos. And this I used to use all the time. And then I went on to Easy Bed because that is quite expensive for one bag. But, you know, I love it and I haven't missed using it. And I went to my friends who breeds guinea pigs and he was using it. And I love it. But, you know, so that was £10, I think 80 or 90 no, £10.70. Then I got two bags of Easy Bed because that is a really good bedding. And I do use, I do use both with the hamsters and the pigs and the rabbits. The rabbits are on shavings. But, you know, I'm going to be taking them. The rabbits and the guinea pigs were originally on shavings. And then I have eczema. And living with pets and eczema is as difficult as it is. My animals can't get it. I have made sure. I have spoken to my doctors. They said. I have spoken to the vets. said they're not contagious. It's just. It's hereditary, basically. My family had it. Passed it down to me. With him. So, yeah. <laughs> so, and ever since I've been using wood shavings back again so I haven't used regimes in a few years my eczema has got horrific <laughs> horrifically worse you can't see them because it's too dark in this kitchen my eczema has got horrifically worse and my skin it's just not been an easy time and I and I was staying away from the animals because I didn't know whether it was contagious I didn't know what it was so I physically was just kind of staying away from these little guys <laughs> such a dope so I was like okay and then you're going down because he's eating so then I then decided I was like okay I'm just gonna try using the guinea pig specifically because the rabbits they're not indoors they live in they live by the back door because well they are indoors but they're not specifically in the living room and to be honest with you the rabbits don't want that much human attention they've got each other that's all they really want I don't know why like we've had like we treat them the exact same way with exact same as the guineas, but they just they don't want it. And because they do go out in the garden from I'd say about eight o'clock in the morning to about six five five, six o'clock at night. Now because they rabbits are quite hardy animals, even though mine are not indoor indoor because their area we have kept quite cold specifically for the fact that they can still go outside in the garden all day. So you know, but Wilbur when I started using it with the guinea pigs who I spend a lot more time with because they kind of want it, especially Wilbur. My hands really flared up. So I went back, I used my last of my easy bed. And it kind of went, if you know what I mean. Not went, like, do you know what I mean? I don't think eczema ever worked. My eczema probably won't go. Because it does kind of, it does get worse in summer. <laughs> it's because I've got them in an environment. Stop! But yeah, so um, I used the last of my easy bed that I tend to use for hamsters and it kind of it didn't go as bad and it wasn't as sore and it wasn't as thingy. So <laughs> it keeps licking my leg. So yes, yeah, so I bought the hemp bedding again because I do love it. So yeah, so the easy bed was £6.85. 
He, you're being very dominant. He's not even near you, mate. <laughs> He's just been a bit sassy. What was that? Oh, yeah. So, final thing I bought was just a wooden chew, a basically a wooden bendy bridge, bendy bridge bang call. Because I've never had them where like the things are this thin. And it was only 316. And I was like, I need some new bendy bridges. I need some new medium ones. Because I think I only have two. Oh, you just got them back there. Like, I only have two. So, you know, I think I need some more. So, I got some more. So, yeah. So, this. So, yeah. This is. I have a plan for Ferris's cage for February. I'm thinking of doing like a natural theme for Ferris. <laughs> this could fit four. This house fit five adult females in it and these fight over it so yes they have so yes so i do plan to a natural theme and i love bendy bridges and natural themes i just love bendy bridges in general so you know yeah that'll be going in ferris's cage so hopefully february or march so yeah thank you guys for watching please comment subscribe and i'll see you guys on my next video bye guys